Hi darlings, welcome back to the platform, welcome to today's video. So loves, today we are going to guide to traditional finish sauna. So we're going to watch this one together. I hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, share and comment and leave your beautiful and awesome comment and share the video as well like you. Okay, okay. So let's head over to today's video. I know you're going to enjoy it. I have a um, Finland playlist where you can do what to catch up on so many things about finland like that country is literally amazing and um i'm glad i'm able to react to finland as well so let's head over to this video a filming place so it's very very echoey i'm sorry for that in advance but welcome to a traditional finnish sauna i'm going to show you quickly very very quickly how everything works if you ever come across one of these, you know how to operate. The first thing we need is water. We fill up the water cauldron and one tub and one bucket with water. Okay. You can use a water pump if you have a generator and electricity. But if you have a very, very traditional one with no electricity, you carry the water from the lake. Carrying the water from the lake is the very only traditional way to do it. But nowadays, when we have electricity and generators, we use the water pump. So we need to warm up the water with logs. You light up the water cauldron and the sauna stove at the same time. So you have both hot and ready properly at the same time. So you also need to cold. be sure that the chimney is open, so the latches are pulled out. If the chimney is closed, all the smoke will come into the sauna. At this point, you have some spare time, so you can go walk outside watch the sunset, pick some berries or read a book. Depending on the location, you don't necessarily have internet connection, which is more than fine because you came here to relax. You don't need the phone. Be also sure to check on the sauna stove and the water culture every now and then to make sure. It's really an amazing tradition. Okay, guys, because you don't need internet. It's just yourself and the uh, space you are in and nature which is literally amazing sometimes you just need to off from the internet like <sighs> and again he said something about the water okay i don't know did do you use cold water to heat your sauna or you use hot water to heat your sauna i would like to know that okay so all right guys so let's head back sure the fire is going once the water is boiling now the top comes into place which we left empty at the first time you mix cold water and hot water, oh, so hot water into the tub to make warm water. Normally it will be dark, so you need to be able to operate in the darkness as well. At this point, when you have mixed the cold and warm water, you probably have the sauna pretty ready. So check on the meter, what does it say? 60 to 80 degrees Celsius is the good limit. If you go over 80, that might be too hot. At this point, you are ready to go. Just take your clothes off and enjoy okay. the sauna. We Finnish people don't wear swimsuits in the saunas, but you are probably from a different culture, so it's totally fine and totally acceptable to wear swimsuits, and we accept that. So put on your swimsuit and enjoy the sauna. You wash yourself with these. You pull water on those, and then pour the water with scoops on yourself. After the sauna, you can go for a swim. It's very refreshing and that's basically it. A very, very short outlook of a traditional Finnish sauna, how it works. Now, if you ever come across one of these, you know how to operate. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Wow, this swim is it. You're going for a cold swim after you finish enjoying the sauna you go for a cold swim okay is this how you guys operate i like to know that in the comment section so now he said it's warm water mm, no i asked previously if it is cold water or hot water but he said it's warm water this is literally awesome and i'll see you all my besties in my next one don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and um subscribe and share i'll see you on the next one bye guys